Shaq admits that Angel Reese is not better than Kalen Carr. Wow. I know that has to stick in the crawl of Angel Reese, especially hearing it from her LSU alumni. Let's get into this, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up. Like the video. Let's go. Shaq tried hating Kalen Clark, and it didn't work. Now, guys, before we get into this, uh, to be a four-time NBA champion, trying to hate on uh, a woman who has influenced women's college basketball and also who has been let's be honest a generational talent and a complete godsend and blessing to the WNBA man come on Shaq now I get it Shaq does business with Angel Reese in fact we know that he helped her get the Reebok deal and we know that you know she is under his uh podcasting what company or network uh, I forget the name of it but he is the reason he is the reason behind a lot of doors being open for Angel Reese if I'm being honest because He's a businessman. He knows that everybody is going to go and endorse Kaylin Clark. He is going to endorse Angel Reese and get her at a far less price than it would take to get a Kaylin Clark. We saw Kaylin Clark literally turn down an interview from The View uh, and they were offering $1 million. Now that lets you know that Kaylin Clark got it like that, okay? I guarantee you though, they offer Angel Reese a million dollars, she's gonna go to The View. And we all know that these women uh, have been highly critical of Kaitlyn Clark. Nonetheless, guys, let's get into this article to see exactly what Shaq the Diesel had to say <laughs> before we continue to elaborate. This is Shaq, guys. Clark does everything right. I never spoke about her before because Angel Reese is my girl, but I can truthfully say Kaitlyn Clark is for real. I'm watching her play and I'm trying to be upset, but she makes the right pass, makes the right play. Girls try to beat her up and she doesn't really complain. She's a great one, even early on in her career. This is so captivating because Shaq is coming out admitting this. It's captivating. When you see this little old white girl here with this big old smile and you see her turn into an assassin on the court, you can't help but let your emotions be tugged. And Caitlin Clark, let's be honest guys, it sounds like she sent chills down his spine especially because he was right here don't believe me i'll show you this is shaquille o'neal pulling up to the chicago sky versus the indiana fever game home court advantage chicago sky he's there to see angel reese get completely destroyed you know how that must have made him feel to sit there look at where he is he's on the court and he watched caitlin clark dismantle the whole chicago sky and at some point, you know basketball, Shaquille O'Neal. You got to be honest. You saw with your eyes the stat padding on Angel Reese's end, especially leaving her in there in garbage time. Come on. Versus a Kaitlyn Clark who exit after third quarter because she scored 31 points in three quarters. And it took Angel Reese to score 10 points in four quarters. Shaquille O'Neal, I know. You probably thought that you were doing the right thing by supporting your girl, Angel Reese. But Angel Reese, she showed me and you that she ain't Kaylin Clark. And I know that that hurts you, Shaquille O'Neal. Trust me, because you really wanted Angel Reese to be everything that Kaylin Clark is. Maybe not the playing style, but at least the hype around her. And Angel Reese has overly, I mean, overly exposed herself. Now she's on the podcast, funded by Shaq, that she's saying that there's racism involved, it's not fair, it's this, this, and that. Well, you don't see Kaylin Clark doing any of this. In fact, Angel Reese is going down in a trajectory that's going to uh, not really help her in the long run, if I'm being honest, especially if you're not playing winning basketball. People want to tune into your podcast if you're the it girl, if you are playing good sport. If Kaylin Clark makes a podcast, do you know how many eyes will be on that podcast? And the thing I like about people like uh, Kaylin Clark and athletes that don't make podcasts while in season is i just feel like that's something that you should do post uh you know like your retirement stuff like that that's what i think like i think you should wait till you are completely away from the game you can uh, talk about the play of other players and people can literally enjoy your podcast you're going to make you're going to continue to draw a lot of haters with your podcast that's that's what i think personally but this is a new time and era that we live in we see michael parson does it and he gets a lot of backlash in fact a lot of his teammates don't even like the fact that he talks so damn much so hopefully this isn't the case with the chicago sky it just seems like shaquille o'neal man has had an awakening and now he can see literally he saw 
with his own eyes what the great white hope is capable of and what she was able to do i mean straight up it has to be embarrassing do you guys remember this angel reese is definitely leading the rookie of the year race shaquille o'neal says that Kaylin Clark is a fabulous player, but his vote for Rookie of the Year is for Andrew Reese right now, July 17, 2024, two months ago. My, 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 half times have changed. Do you also remember this? <clears throat> Shaquille O'Neal, she's probably the greatest athlete to come out of LSU sports. Wow. This is Shaquille O'Neal, guys. LSU, Joe Burrow, I don't know, Odell Beckham, Shakari Richardson, I mean, so many great phenomenal talents, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, like the list goes on and on and on and on. They've been nothing but a stellar school that produced some of the top class world athletes. For Shaquille O'Neal to have this type of thinking then versus how he's feeling now shows you everything about Kaylin Clark. It's not even too much to be said about it. The girl is just that generational. The girl is just that talented. Uh, and this must suck for Angel Reese to hear someone who was in awe of her, who has been, let's be honest, overly hyping her, probably because they're in business together, right? And it's good for his pockets to support her, right? It has to be devastating for her to hear Shaq utter these words. But it also should give Angel Reese motivation. Like, honestly, it should give her motivation. She should get into the lab this offseason season. She should let the podcasting go, in my opinion. She should drop the Barbie theme, right? Especially if they're not endorsing you. You should drop the Barbie theme and focus more on your craft. How to finish around the rim. How to get a true double-double stat. And not miss five shots back-to-back -back and then lay them up. And these lazy statisticians really reward you with the most basic stats that you are committing to yourself. The only impact is it's helping you. It's not helping the team. And now you guys are on the verge of being bounced from the playoffs very hastily because the team is all in on Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark is all in on the team. There is a difference and it has been shown. Now you see all of these people trying to flip their takes because they see that the writing's on the wall. They see that the writing is on the wall. They know that the rookie of the year debate is over and this is where we are. They want to jump ship. <laughs> they want to jump ship and they want to do it smoothly. Like, no, 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 no. We've kept tabs on a lot of you people because some of the stuff that these people were saying about Angel Reese, I'm not going to lie. I just couldn't, I, 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 I just can't believe it. Like, I really can't believe that people were so busy trying to ride with the culture to where they were going to really be hell bent on not keeping it real. It goes on to say, she's the real deal. Much respect to her and her family and the way she grew up and the way she plays. All of the girls should watch all the WNBA players, but those two, Clark and Reese, are my favorite. You see how he tried to slide that in there. Now Clark is his favorite. Man, if Shaq was not in business with Angel Reese, I don't think that Shaq would be praising Angel Reese's name like that, if I'm being honest. And this is the thing that I tell you guys about Kaylin Clark. It does say a lot about how she was raised. Uh, I know that it offends people because everybody isn't raised with uh, a silver spoon or just a basic family foundation. Uh, but we can't pity ourselves like that, guys. I was raised in a very abusive household. I turned into a veteran and an engineer, multiple degrees, and a very successful man. So I never really want to hear that BS when it comes to everybody doesn't have the same upbringing. It's about choices. It's about decisions. And it is about what you want for yourself in life. And the only way to get there is to execute. Even with Angel Reese, regardless of how I may feel about Angel Reese, she execute and she put herself into a position to be drafted into the top sport in women's sport, the WNBA, as of now. So kudos, you know, like at the end of the day. But to hear Shaq come out and to openly admit that he was wrong and that he even tried to hate on her. I don't think y'all understand the magnitude of that statement alone. Is why Caitlin Clark is going to be a legend, man. The stuff that she's doing in her rookie year. Imagine her with an enforcer. Imagine her when they really start the season off right. Uh, and with this chemistry from this season and carrying into the next season. How dynamic of a player she's going to be. 
Now, I'm not going to lie. I actually like the rivalry of Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark. But Angel Reese is just terrible. I would at least want her to go get in the lab and work on her game. And I actually like a healthy back and forth. I actually want to see Kaylin Clark play her best and you play your best. And it's neck and neck. And if Kaylin Clark loses, I can accept that because it's going to help me with my fandom. It's going to help me with the anticipation of the next matchup. But Angel Reese has to get in there and do the work. I'm sorry because right now, this doesn't look like a rivalry at all, which it never really was from Kaylin Clark's perspective anyway. But, you know, she needs to be good. She needs to be far more better than what she is now if she even wants people to take this seriously. And those are my thoughts. So you guys, let me know what y'all think about Shaquille O'Neal admitting that he was wrong and that he was trying to hate on Caitlin Clark. And now, for some reason, he can see clearly. Now that the rain is gone. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.